Welcome to the Whiskey Warehouse. I'm Nick. And I'm Dylan. Today we're reviewing a very special whiskey. Why don't you tell us about it, Dylan? This is the legendary Smoke Wagon. Comes out of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, I believe MSRP is about 60 bucks on this bad boy. This is uh, actually sent to us from the distillery. And, uh, Shout out to you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, man. And he, you know, he, he did a little giveaway contest, and then uh, we won that. Wrote our name, or wrote my name on it down here at the bottom, bottled for me. And then on the back, a little note. It's kind of cool. It says, thank you for helping me clean up. That was his little giveaway thing. Yeah, so, sure. Uh, let's see. Las Vegas, MGP sourced. At least this one will be. I'm pretty sure they're on their own juice now. But uh, this was one of, he said, his original bottles. So this should be some decent juice. Uh, the back of this thing is, has a little cool statement down here. I don't know if you want to read that, Nick, or... Okay, let's uh, give it a read. In that bottle, look at that bottle. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Wax label. Wax label, real wax, Local. with their logo on the front of it. Two little pistols. You see that. Yeah. So on the back, it says, Beyond single barrel, the contents of this bottle are not just from one barrel, but a barrel that was handpicked by the provider for its unique taste characteristics. Once it's gone, the stink flavor profile will never be repeated. Very unique bottle. Very unique beautiful I, I love the design of these things man he's got a couple out that uh all black bottle with the gold uh leafing like you can see oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys probably can see the leaves or like little Maybe flowers little bit, and stuff yeah. like that so it's um, textured yeah it's very pretty bottle and then uh yeah so let's see this one is from warehouse we4 barrel number 5546 and then uh vintage 5 2007 so what's the proof on it uh, this is 115.6, I believe. No, 115.8. That's what it was. So this is going to be a, a little hot. It should be very tasty. About though. barrel proof strength. We, yes, exactly. And, and all of, I think all, almost all of his stuff comes out barrel proof. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a cool deal. That is kind of cool. Uh, all right, Nick. I'll let you do the honors of cracking it because I know you want right. to get into this bad boy. We've been itching. We got this uh, sometime last week. Yeah, something like that. Monday. I don't know. We got it. We get. Let's do it. Back to the smoke wagon. All right. <laughs> let's give it a open. I'll let you pour it. Okay. So every video that he does, he always talks about how creamy and delicious it is. Oh, yeah? So uh, his name's Aaron. He's supposed to be one of the best guys in bourbon. I mean, he did some, some stuff happen, some crazy stuff. And uh, I'll talk to you about that on the side, but man, he, he smells delicious. Yeah, does it? It does. Oh god, <laughs> that's like a smoke wagon just coming right out of there, like freaking gun smoke. Oh yeah. <sighs> All right, buddy. One fifteen coming at you hard. Let's do it. Oops. Committing cardinal sins here, man. Yeah, a little bit of spillage. Yeah. Cannot say that I poured and never missed. Because I've definitely missed a few times. Alright. The color. It's beautiful. A dark golden amber. Yeah, it's amazing color. I like it. It's thick, too. You can tell. I can't. It's so thick, I can't see through it. No, exactly. I, I got my finger on the other side. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at that. I can't really see. No, it's cool. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful color, guys. It is. I'll let you see it. Ooh. Seems a little darker on the camera. It does. I like that, though. On the camera, it looks like nice amber, mm -hmm. like dark, dark bourbon. It's pretty dark, to be honest. It's thick, though. Look, no, no floaties. I thought I saw one in there. There's a little. There's a couple. But that's all right. It's part of the barrel. All right. Trent, this one's for you, buddy. Nick, let's check out my legs. Check out your legs. You gotta take your pants off first. Ah, damn it. Ooh, look at that. Nice. They're, they're coming, coming down, down pretty, nice. Uh, they're pretty nicely, yeah. A little thin. I'm digging it, though. I'm too. I can smell it just like rolling out of the glass right now. It mm -hmm. smells amazing. I know, I can't Absolutely wait. amazing. All right. This, it smells like. I can smell it. It's, it nice. smells like bourbon. It does. It smells, it smells like you're in a warehouse. 
Yeah, like the, the, yeah, yeah. Like, it, when we went to Buffalo Trace, it almost smells like that. It does. Just it's a little less there. malty. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I get like caramel, mm. creamy caramel, creamy caramel maple. It, absolutely. Maybe vanilla. Like brown sugar, yeah. Brown sugar, vanilla. I can see it. Bubblegum. Just a hint, yeah. Yeah. I don't smell like any pepper. Doesn't smell peppery. Doesn't have like a rye spice. S no, to it's it. nothing but sweetness. It smells fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. Ooh. Maybe Dude, this smells like it's going to warm us up. Hey, this smells like it's a favorite. Different, definitely will. Baking spices in there too. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, guys. Cheers. This is our first, our first go at Smoke Wagon, Legendary Bourbon. Cheers. Oh wow! Wow. Mm. Ooh, that's delightful up front. It's, like, you know, he. It's strong in the alcohol. Yeah. But there's some nice flavor behind Very it, pleasant. even on the first sip. Because most whiskeys are usually nothing oh, but alcohol. Yeah. On no, the first it, taste. And like he says in the videos, it's creamy. It is creamy. It's like creamy caramel. It is. It's it, thick. It just flows right across your tongue. It's nice. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And it's hot. The Kentucky hug. This one would be a Nevada hug. Prevalent. That's Very nice, man. Wow. Is it, and it is just slow burn right down to the stomach. That is fantastic. It's very good. All right, before we get into the second one. Yeah. Because this is when we're going to get all of our flavors. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's talk about what you're expecting from okay. this point forward. <coughs> okay, so I got, we got uh, some bourbon flavors with a little more distinctive flavors. So we got the maple, the caramel, the vanilla, which you get in most bourbons. Mm -hmm. I got some bubble gum and some baking spices. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for that. Yeah. And maybe some other. I'm looking to see if I can find some fruits in there. Because I didn't taste any in the first sip. Yeah. I'm looking for, uh, honestly, like more mellow experience on the second one. Mm -hmm. As well as like a, maybe a longer finish. It, it, it finished right. nice, but... It kind of disappeared yeah, it, a little it bit. Yeah, it dissipated very yeah. quickly. The, the hug is there. Uh, it's honestly, it's just not hitting like the pits of my stomach. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I fully expect there to at least be like more more creamy caramel and then uh, the baking spices for sure and the brown sugar. I, I definitely want to see a little bit more of that on this next little, mm -hmm. little bit. So let's go ahead, Nick. Back into it. There's the bubble gum. Yeah. It's more intense flavor. Mm. That is. The, the first sip is just as good as the last. Like every, I every like that sip one better. So it's more potent. Yeah. It's very good. And you know what? The, the spice is staying on my tongue. I'm still getting the finish. This time around. Mm -hmm. A lot better. And honestly, a little bit smoky char. But creamy. I mean, it is very creamy. And this is the first, I think, the first bourbon I've had where I've had like a, like a strawberry cream sort of feel a little mm, bit. Like some berries. Berries, yeah, berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Almost like I'm a, a little boy who loves berries and cream. <laughs> oh What's that from? Starburst commercial. Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, that, yeah, they introduced that crap. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, so that second taste is very, very nice. Smoke wagon. Any additional flavors you get? Um... I got the strawberry and cream, berries and cream sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, any other notes you get? I did pick up the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, the baking spices, though, like I'm, I'm still. It kind of disappeared for me. Yeah, I'm looking for it, but it's not like. I don't know. Something, off, something's off here. This is fantastic. I mean, this is going to score probably pretty, pretty high for me. I feel sorry for Trent. Excuse me. I think that he was more. Trent is afraid of the jaw shakers, and I think that that was that's probably why he uh, he didn't show today. Can't handle the smoke wagon. You know the, the baking spices show up on the front for a split second, and then it turns into that bubble gum, 
creamy sort of caramel sort of thing. Yeah. It's delightful. Yeah. Do you know what? I I didn't really know what to expect from this. This doesn't taste how high it is. No. Absolutely. It tastes like it, 100 yeah, proof. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. 100 proof. Yeah. Drinks very nice. It really does. I, I'll, I could buy a bottle of this. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Honey. Honey. Yep. A touch, just a touch of eucalyptus, maybe? Mm. That's an interesting... I've never heard that in bourbon before. Yeah. You know what I really like about this? Is the fact that it... Uh, it's sweet the whole way through. It like, it, it doesn't, like, attack you with oak and then, like, come in with, like after finish of, of sweetness it yeah it starts sweet and it ends sweet and it has like a little bit of like a peppery kind of bite to it i almost get no oak or pepper there. it's there but it's very mild mm -hmm. and this is very good very good juice all right nick i'm gonna let this sit in my tongue and see if i get anything go nuts I'm, I'm out <clears throat> i take big big shit <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like to swish it just because it gets like in your cheeks and stuff. Get like more that. pepper. Yeah, but that's that's, that's kind of obvious mm -hmm. with the alcohol, the pepper, yep. and all the other um, notes are kind of destroyed. So don't let it sit in your mouth too much. Yeah, no, you because you definitely taste the proof. I, I would just recommend swish and swallow. Swish and swallow. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> Especially you. Uh, Try. Sure, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say females out there. Oh, well. He... But you know, I might have jumped off the deep end on that one. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, Nick, score it. Four score and seven years ago. <laughs> um, so I scored, my top score is Stag Jr. right now at, I think it's 94. I think. Are we doing score based off from things that we've had? No, I'm just trying to okay. remember. This is so fucking good. Stag Juniors. It doesn't have much... I like burn. It does have that, but not... Oh, it's so good. 95. 95. That's solid. That's like... It's good shit. Dude. Yeah. No, that's that's very solid. Uh, you know what, man? Hmm. Based off from color, the color was fantastic. Nice dark, even like you don't see that too much, uh, especially that depth and that thickness. We don't see that uh, too often. Mm -hmm. uh, based off from flavor, just the amount of it's it's actually complex. Uh, it is. It is very. Complex. I feel like the more that you drink this, the more you'll probably discover. You and this, this is one that uh, is definitely going to be a special occasion. Type of, for the type price point, yeah, definitely, and the rarity, mm -hmm. yeah, especially out here in Ohio. Not to mention the flavor, man. That's find it very, very tasty. Um, let's see, the finish, the finish was fantastic. It was this, the the fact that the first time I said like, I wish that the finish would be a little bit longer. It, it is long. It, it is, is long longer, now. Yeah, yeah. I can still taste it on my tongue. I can too. The bubble gum um, still on my tongue. I am gonna give this. Also a 95. Ooh, nice. This is an outstanding bourbon. I uh, would highly recommend this to anybody that's Definitely. out there looking for it. Uh, Aaron at, at Smoke Wagon, you're the owner, you're the operator. Man, we uh, we appreciate this bottle. Definitely Holy good shit, bro. Crap, man. You changed our life. Uh, when this hits Ohio, we will be looking for is it. Is this only available in Nevada now? No. It's not? You can get it in Illinois. Really? Yes. Okay. It's not to... It's It hasn't passed... Like the mm. Indiana border yet, so we're waiting on that. Well, but, since they're they just exploded, right? They have their own mash now. Yeah, they yeah, were recently MGP, thing. so mm -hmm. they're gonna be able to dish. And this is a, this one here farther. is MGP juice. This one is yes. Oh, okay. but that was fucking amazing. And he does like he brings his own stuff in, like this aged in the desert in right. Arizona or not Arizona, in, uh, New Mexico. I thought it was Nevada. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is the going on. The proof is getting to him. Yeah, it's uh, it's that good. It is good. It's very um, good. Yeah, you see it on the shelf. I would highly recommend you buy it if you want to send us a bottle of it. Big recommendation for me for sure. Yeah, this gets our uh, whiskey warehouse 
seal of approval. There you go. For the and smoke wagon. If I saw this in liquor store, I'd probably pick up a couple bottles if I could. Oh, dude, absolutely. I have a feeling when this comes to Ohio, this is going to be a one bottle per This is going to be the next hyped bourbon or absolutely. whiskey. Mm-hmm. Man, this is fantastic. All right, guys. Uh, skip the shout outs? Yeah. All right. Until just next time. Just ask time. Yeah. But a huge shout out to Smoke Wagon, though. Absolutely. Good shit, guys. Thanks. And thank you very much. Yes. Until next time, we are the Whiskey Warehouse. Stay tuned for our next review. It's been fun, guys. Peace.